Hey guys, today I'm just doing a casual sit at the table with me. I literally have you guys propped up. We're doing a collective Dollar Tree haul. Um, I did a, I think two, this is two stores. This is three stores. Um, this is not part of it. This is three Dollar Trees that I went to and I did find some really cute new finds that I have not seen anybody talk about. And then I found typical stuff that I have seen people talk about. And then I also bought some food items that I don't typically buy. So I wanted to go that route. Also, I've been sick for days in a row, so just ignore the way I look. I had to get out today because I've been literally bedridden for days and I had to get out and about. So I went to Dollar Tree because that's what I do for fun. Anybody else is lame with me? Just me? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to show you the my favorite find of the day and it's not that exciting, but to me it is. So I'm going to show it. They are fruit, fruit, and flower shaped scrub buddies for the scrub daddy dupes. Although I don't, I wouldn't consider them a dupe. I mean, they have like the same like name and they're cute, like close to the name, but like, and they're cute, but like they're totally different consistencies. So I wouldn't call them a dupe, but I have heard other people call them that. Y'all, when I tell you I'm so puffy, I can't even, I can't even function right now. Honestly, I can't. My dog wants, wants in, so let me go get her. But anywho, let me get one of each of these out because I want to take a thumbnail with them. So I'm going to open them at a time. They're so colorful. I love them. Oh, these are so cute. I don't know how to do this. Anyway, look how freaking cute they are. And there are two packs for each one of them. Purple flower, orange flower, um, green flower, pink flower. These are giving Scooby-Doo to me. I don't, couldn't tell you why. I don't know. A pear. This fruit is never found in Dollar Tree. Apples, kind of in there, not as much. Lemon, you see everything. So this is cute too, but guys, you can't tell me these are the cutest freaking sponges you've ever seen. Anyway, I found a bunch of the uh, shoe charms for Crocs. You know, they're not made by Croc or nothing, but I found the video game one, the sushi and boba and taco one, which I feel like I low key hauled that before, I'm not sure. And then this little smiley face, smiley face and butterfly star one, and then this sports one. Um, I don't wear Crocs but these are cute to junk journal with or um, journal with in general, or just to have, make into magnets. That'd be a cute idea. That might low key make some of these into magnets. But anyway, um, this one has like the PS4 or the PlayStation thing, the Wii thing and the, uh, what's this called? Mm -hmm. Game, nope, I'm, I'm, draw I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, that, this one's my favorite one. It's so cute to me. And then this one, that's so cute. These are really cute magnets. You can definitely craft with them or use them for your Crocs. My wife does have yellow Crocs that she stole from me because I did not ever wear them because. Well, hello. Hello, it's a beautiful girl. Um, uh, I'm not a Croc wearer, but my friend bought me some and I haven't worn them ever. So she took over. But anyway, um, I found this strawberry uh, like loofah sponge thing for the shower. I like to get these and rewash them and reuse them because I'm kind of weird about that stuff. But I wanted to pick a, pick another one up because I did have one of those, but I've thrown it away since. Um, this is the hydrogel eye patches. I've been I've seen these a thousand times, and for some reason I just never gravitated towards them and never wanted to get them. And I don't know why because they're right up my alley. But for some reason I just never did. But the three pairs of hydrogel eye, eye patches you can put in the fridge, and I just think that'll be a really nice thing to have. So or really cute for um, picture purposes, like doing facials. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I picked up these small travel facial cloths. I have not seen these, and if I have seen them, I just didn't pay attention to what they were. Um, but they're by Sassy and Chic. The packaging is really cute. It's very minimal, but it's cute. But um, they're small facial travel cloths. So when I'm traveling and I'm in hotels, I constantly am requesting towels. But I'm low-key a dermaphobe, and <laughs> I can't help but always think how many asses have that face towel been on and I know that they wash and bleach it and all that and I get it I understand but so I think this will be cute to travel with and less times if you have to call and ask for towels so it is what it is 
Um, I always pick up stickers. If you know, you know, you've been here before. Look how freaking cute these are. They do pop out. Love that. Next, this is a really good find, y'all. I found a cuteless curling set. So it's the thing that you put over and then you wrap your hair in it and you go sleep and then you wake up. Or you don't have to sleep. You could literally just wear them all day and then take them out at night or something. But I picked up the hot pink, but there was multiple colors. Um, so I'm excited to give this a whirl. I've always wanted to try this and it seems small enough for my thin short hair. Look at this. I look scraggly. It's fine. Nothing new there. Um, so I picked it up because it looks like it might work for my hair type. So uh, Next, I found this pressed powder by uh, LA Colors. They had a ton of colors there. And by a ton, I mean what the Dollar Tree offers a ton. And I got it in beige. So I like to give this a whirl because I do love me a powder foundation. I really, really do. I picked up this. Nothing new there. But I've been wanting the pink one. Uh, I just think it's so cute. And I love the pink one. But I finally found a pink one. Again, I've seen these a thousand and one times and I've, I've literally put them in my videos, but I've never hauled them, never picked them up. But for some reason today, I was feeling froggy and I picked them up. So it's the peach bath bomb and the strawberry scented bath bomb. This one's not as strong, but this one definitely smells like peach. Okay. Random food item. I picked up these chewy caramels. I don't know why I was just craving those when I saw them and I was like, yes. I've seen these a thousand and one times too, but I never picked them up because it just looks like clay makeup to me. But there's this glitter going viral on TikTok right now by this expensive brand. And I'm like, I want those so bad. And it low key gives that. So I went ahead and picked it up. I don't know if I should, I'm gonna swatch it on camera because I don't know if this is a bust or not. But if it gives that like festival glitter that I wanna buy so bad off of TikTok, maybe one day I will buy them. but and support the brand because it is a small brand and I'm always down to support a small brand, but, um, you know, it, they're like $170 palettes. I don't know. Okay. So I was wondering if this is going to be just a top coat. No, it is very much all the way through that putty like consistency. So it's very good for festivals. Okay. So yes, I do like this a lot. Sorry, the lighting is not great, but it is very... Oh, the packaging broke. Oh, no, it just came off. Okay. Okay, cool. So, let me just throw it. It is very festival-y, and I think that'd be really cute for festivals for any reason whatsoever. Glad I picked it up. There is a pink one, too, because I've seen these before a thousand and one times. I just never picked them up. I don't know why. Um, I picked up the Popsicle in this, but for some reason, I've been wanting to pick this one up because I found out it was a doe foot. It's a lip balm, so you thought I thought it would open and like rub on your mouth like that, and it gives that with this dome at the top. But I found out if this is the same one I've seen on on TikTok, it is a doe foot. So since then, I've been wanting it. Yep. Look at that. Look how cute it opens into a little doe foot. Oh, that smells good. It's strawberry lip balm. So it's like a liquid lip balm instead of like the ones that you go on. So it's not lip gloss or chapstick. It's literally a lip balm. Put this in a keychain. Cutest little keychain ever. And then you have a lip balm. Perfect. It's so cute. I love it. And then in the pride section, I found a bunch of magnets. And I picked up all the pride stuff already. Not all of it. What I liked of it. Um, and I have it like already outside or whatever. Because it's pride month. But I didn't see these there. So I was like, ugh. Maybe these just weren't there when I went, but I don't know. So it's a flag magnet, a pride magnet, a heart magnet, a love is love magnet, a love rainbow magnet, and then another love one with like a bubble. You know, so these are going to go all over my refrigerator. I'm so excited about it. I might even put some up at the shop because pride, baby. Um, I already picked up the black ones of these, but I didn't see they had purple. How cute are these little clips? I know. Anything that looks like a 12-year-old should own, I want to own. And then I saw this eyeliner in teal, and I haul so much on Dollar Tree that I forget, or from Dollar Tree that I forget what, I, what I've what i hauled, but I'm, I'm not sure if I hauled a teal liquid eyeliner. I know I hauled all their colored pencils, millions of colors, every color we could ever need, but, and it's waterproof and a felt tip applicator, so, and it's teal. I really cannot remember. For some reason, I feel like I have... Don't hold me to it. I'm just really not sure. Um, if food stuff is a little boring to you, I'm sorry, but I only have a little bit of food stuff and I'm just not going in particular order. But I picked up, there goes half of it on the floor. I picked up these Cheetos mac and cheese. This is the four cheesy and this is the bold and cheesy. 
And the other day I tried their um, Cheetos Cajun, I think. And then I've also had their hot Cheetos. That one's very spicy. So if you're not in spice, don't eat that one. And then I picked up this little chicken ramen bowl. I'm a ramen freak, okay? Don't come for me, but I love me some ramen. I used to buy these all the time because it just takes water. Um, let me see if that's... Yeah, so it's butter and water, so you don't need an egg. So it makes them very easy to make. And it actually makes a really good cookie. So I picked up sugar cookie for the wife and chocolate chip for me because I'm just not a sugar cookie person very much. So um, I bought these to eat on the way home, but I forgot about them. So I got me some smash me hoes. That's what I call them, pistachios. Um, I picked up some more popcorn. This is three bags and is the stream butter. Last time I got butter lovers and it wasn't enough butter. So I got the extreme butter. And then I picked up this teriyaki. I usually get this from Walmart, so I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I can't remember what it cost at Walmart, to be completely honest with you. Next, I found more of the office organizing things. I've already found the ones that, like, that are, like, the inserts for, like, products or whatever. I'm using for makeup products, but I haven't found, like, the, the pen holders, which I'm going to use these for um, a brush holder, which this low-key all glued together would be a nice little setup. But, um... They are that iridescent and they're just like plastic. I would even call them acrylic, so they're just plastic. But uh, anyway, I was very excited about these because I always need stuff to hold my stuff in because I have a ton of product, a ton. And then from Spa Scriptions, I found the Blemish Control Oil Free Cooling Sheet Mask with Cucumber, Aloe Vera, and Hyaluronic Acid. Um, gentle for acne prone skin, keep chilled to soothe inflammation. And it's five packs in here. I've already picked up stuff like this from Spa Scriptions. Um, I like that this one is uh, blemish control. So I'm not really sure if this is any good or not, but I'm definitely going to put add it to the collection to try. I sure am. I picked up these OxyClean uh, stain fighting to go pins or whatever. Um, I usually do the Tide to go. I, they're just not good. I don't know why I keep buying them, but I do like the little wipes. Um, I forget the brand, but I figured I'd get these at oh, well, because OxyClean is really good. And then I also got the Perfect Brow Mini Kit. Um, it's the brow powder, the brow, brow gel, and then I think a brow like highlight. So two different browns and then a highlight and then a, uh, like a brow bone highlight and then the little putty gel stuff, which I doubt is any good. Plus it's too small to get your brush in anyway, but I'm excited to try the powder in that. And that is by Ioni. And then I finally found more of these little Seaside Breeze air freshener gels. I got a dented one. I didn't mean to, but that's okay. <clears throat> There's a whole selection of them too. Still fighting this cold, y'all, sorry. So if I would have realized it was a dented when I picked it up, I would have grabbed another one. And then the Crystal Beads air freshener. I'm not opening right now to smell them, but I can kind of smell them through the pack and they smell good. And I also got the sprays, which I've been looking for. If you watch my videos here on here or on TikTok, um, you know, I've been looking for them, but I haven't seen anybody talk about these ones. These are the, this is the pumpkin spice scent that I'm going to pull out for the fall. I'm a fall baby. So I'm not fall baby. I love me some fall. So call me basic. I don't care. And then I found the sprays. Finally, I picked up two of these. There was a whole selection of this Dollar Tree. I was very excited. So I finally found them. I mean, gone. I mean, finally found them. I'm so excited. So I picked up two of the Seaside Breeze and then two of the Island Escape their Air Freshener Room Spray. Plus they're just freaking cute. So shut your mouth when you're talking to me. You know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna take two up to the shop and keep two here at the house. And then, I don't think I've ever seen these before, but these are Luxury Carpet Freshener Odor Eliminator. And I love me some carpet powder. Do not come for me. I know it messes up your vacuums. I don't care. I love carpet powder. And plus the packaging is just cute. I mean, it probably won't stay in this, but who knows? Anyway, cute. Let's see if it smells awful. Mm, it smells clean. It's like the best in the world, but like, it'll definitely get the job done is what I need. Because I got a zoo here, y'all. A zoo. You hear me? A freaking zoo. So, that's cute. Okay, I got two toys. This is a Barbie kayak with a life vest. And yes, I'm pretty sure these were $1.25. It's a full, full on kayak. So cute. Oh my God. And then a jet ski for Barbie with a life vest. So cute. And then the very last things I got, I've already picked these up in strawberry. 
and they're really yummy and I was hoping to find more. So I went looking for them, but I couldn't find the strawberry flavor, but I haven't seen these ones yet. These are the peach burst. They're little baby peaches and they're so really cute. And then the little pineapples. Can you see how cute they are? I'm so excited. We found strawberry, but I found those and I'm very excited about it. Any hoobie. I always pick me up a soda on there because uh, life is short. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, it is free. So what are you waiting on? If you want to see this and all the other things that I do, then subscribe. And then also go check out my TikTok because I do post all kinds of cra crabble there too. So I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. I won't see you, but you guys will see me.